Hello, this is Dan Fashionbauer from Video Pizzazz. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an Aweber campaign to promote Groove Funnels. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is come over to my Aweber back office and log in. And the first thing we need to do is create a list. So come up here where it says Manage Lists and click on that. And then click on Create a List. And then you can set up a company name if you'd like. This can also be your personal name if you want. You can put in your company website if you have one. If not, you don't need one. And I'm gonna come down here and then the sender name. This is what people will see as a sender when they get a email autoresponder from you. So you need to think about this a little bit and how you wanna be represented. Do you wanna be represented as your personal name? a business, or how do you want to be represented? And then the sender email, this is where Aweber is going to say the email really originated from. And if you haven't used this email address before, Aweber will force you to verify it. So once you enter in a new email address here, they will send you an email verification link to this email address and you'll have to click on that and verify that you own that email address. All right, so once you're happy with this setup here, click on Next Step. So now you need to name your list. You can have this very general or you can segment your list out very specifically. For instance, if you were collecting leads from YouTube, you might want to call this something YouTube. If you're collecting leads from Facebook, you might want to call this something Facebook. But in my case, I'm going to keep it very general. I'm just going to call it Groove Digital. And then for the description, I think I'll just paste in here, how to build an online business using the most advanced marketing tools from Groove Digital. Now, the only place that this will be seen is at the bottom of your emails. If the people want to opt out of your list, this just tells them what that list is about. Then click on next step. Now you have to approve your confirmation messages. So I'm going to say here that my language is going to be English. Now, this is the initial subject line of the email that they will get if your Aweber account is set up for double opt-in. They'll initially get a link with the subject title of confirming your subscription. They'll have to click on that link and then they will get added to your list. Now this isn't going to be important for me because I'm not going to have a double opt-in. I'm just going to have a single opt-in. So they will automatically get added to my list and I'll show you how to set that up later on in this video. But for right now, I'll just leave the subject line as the default. Come down here and then this is the body of the email they would get if they got this confirmation subscription list. This subject line and this message here, I will not be using because I'm going to switch over to a single opt-in. So I'm just gonna come down here and click on approve message and create list. All right, so once my list has been created, it becomes my active list up here. So now I'm currently in the Groove Digital account list. But before I move forward, I want to turn off the double opt-in for this list. So in order to turn off the double opt-in, make sure you're in the correct campaign, which I am, I'm in Group Digital. Come over here to List Options and use the pull down and click on List Settings. And this has basically all been set up from the previous steps that we did. But we wanna come over here and click on Confirmation Messages and then scroll down. And then right here under Confirmation Message Settings, currently on is the Send a Confirmation Message for Aweber Signup Forms. I don't want to do that, so I'm going to click here, turn that off, and it says, are you sure you want to turn off confirmed opt-in for sign-up forms? I'm going to click on yes. And now that's turned off, come down here and click on save settings. And it says successfully save the settings. So the next thing we want to do is set up our autoresponder messages. And those are the messages they will automatically get sent from Aweber after they opt in to our list. So we'll come up here. Again, make sure you're in the campaign that you want to make this autoresponder in, and then click on Messages, 
campaigns. Click on Create a Campaign, and you can use some pre-existing templates if you'd like. I'm going to just create a blank campaign today, so I'll click here. I need to give my autoresponder campaign a name. I'll call it Groove Lifetime. Click on Create. So you can start the campaign automatically when somebody subscribes to your list, or you can start the campaign when your subscriber is linked to a specific tag. In my case, I'm going to say unsubscribe. So as soon as they opt in, they will start getting my autoresponder messages. So I'll click on unsubscribe. So now you can send a message, add in a wait sequence, or you can apply tags. I'm going to send a message. So I'm going to click on this and drag it in here and then come over here and click on create a message. And I'm going to use the drag and drop email builder. And here is our subject line up here. So I can put in something like, hey, and welcome in. I could also use the pull down here. And if I collected a bunch of information about the subscriber, I could add in those tags up here if I wanted to. I'm not going to do that because all I'm going to do in my campaign is just request their email address. If you click here at the end, you could put in a emoji. Maybe I'll put like that in there. And the key here is to put these emojis at the end of your subject line, just in case their email reader doesn't support emojis then it would just clip this off at the end and they'll not notice any difference. But if you put a, an emoji in the middle of your email and their email reader doesn't like it and it rips it out, it'll look kind of weird. So I would suggest only putting these in at the end of your subject line. Now to change the body, just come in and click here. I'm going to remove everything out of here and paste in my message. Put a space in here, a space in here, and maybe a space at the end. All right, so I'm just gonna put in here, my name is Dan and I'll be sending you awesome workshops where you can learn how to build your online marketing funnels and even drive traffic. Look out for your workshop details in future emails. All right, so this is the email that they're going to get immediately when they sign up for my list. And there's a lot of different elements that you can add in over here if you want. I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to make it pretty plain and simple. And I'll come down here and click on save and save and exit. And then that got added in right here. So that's the second step. So the first step is as soon as I get a subscriber, this email is going to get sent out. All right. So now the next step is I think I want to wait one day before I send them another email. So I'll click on the wait. And I'll slide that over here. And by default, it says it's going to wait one day before performing the next action. And you can come over here and you can change the number of days if you want, or you can change it to minutes, hours, days, weeks, months. I'm just gonna leave it as a default of one day. That works for me. And then I'll come down here and click on save and exit. So I'll come back in here and click on my list again. So now I got three steps here. I'm going to add another autoresponder message after one day. So I'll click on send a message, drag that down here, come over here and click on create a message. And I'm going to click on drag and drop email builder. All right. So at this point, I could go over to my Groove Funnels back office. If I click on Groove Affiliate Program, and then I scroll down, they give me affiliate information here that I can use. So I could click on swipes and they give me a couple different subject lines I could use. And then they give me the body text that I could use. So I could come up here next to view HTML and I could click over here to get the source, click on copy, come back over here, click in here, click on this icon here that says source and paste that information in there and delete out this stuff here at the top and click on OK. And it put all that information in there for me. So all I need to do is add in a subject line. So I could copy this, come back over here and paste that in there. So I could say groove cell and groove pages are now free. Groove Cell and Groove Pages are currently free. 
because of COVID-19, it's free for life. And then I just need to come down here and put in my name. And I believe all these links are set up for me to go to my GrooveFunnel affiliate page. So I don't think I have to do anything with that, but let's check it out. So let's click on save, save and exit. And then it says, and it got added right here as step number four. And currently it's the selected message because it has this blue bar here. That means it's the active one. And it shows, the name shows up right here. So I can click on preview. And this is what it's going to look like when people read it. If I click here, where does it take me? All right, it takes me to my affiliate page. I'm hard coded here. Now in order to make this autoresponder campaign live, I gotta come over here and click the down arrow and click on activate campaign. And now it says it's active. Now I need to create a sign-up form for a landing page so people can opt in to my list and start receiving my autoresponder messages. So again, make sure you're in the right campaign here and then come over to sign-up forms. Click create a sign-up form. By default, Aweber creates a form for you with a name input and an email input. And you can add more fields if you want. In my case, for this campaign, all I'm going to ask for is the email address. So I can come up here to name and I can click on delete. So all I'm going to have is an email input form and a submit input form. And I could use the Aweber form code, but I won't do that. I'm actually going to use a Groove Digital form and just link it to my Aweber campaign. All right, so once I have this updated, which I just have an email field and a submit field. I'll click on save form and click on go to next step. When they opt in, you can send them to a thank you page. Now in my case, I'm not going to send them to a thank you page. I'm going to send them to my GrooveFunnels affiliate sign up link. So I'll use the pull down here and I'm gonna say custom page, use your own URL. Then it says enter your URL. So I can go back over to Groove Funnels. I can go back to my promotional tools and I can click on links. And I can grab any one of these promotional links and then click on copy the affiliate code. Come back over to Aweber and enter in that code right there. So now when they opt in to my Aweber campaign, they will automatically get redirected to this affiliate sales page. And I can click here to preview and come down here and I will see that I'm the refer. All right, then I can also say open this in a new window. I am going to change the form name because when I integrate it with Groove Digital, it's going to ask me for a form name and it might be confusing if I don't know what it is. All right, so I'm just gonna call this Groove Digital Web Form. Click on save form. Go to step three. At this point, I can use any of these different methods here for installing that onto my Groove Digital landing page. For instance, if I click on this, I get the HTML code. I don't have to worry about that because Groove Digital has an API interface with Aweber. So I don't have to worry about this stuff here. So basically, I'm done setting up my Aweber campaign, my autoresponder, and my web form. All right, so once I go back over to Groove Funnels, I'll click on Groove Pages, and I'll come up here in the upper right-hand corner, click on this, click on My Integrations, and it says here, you don't have any integrations yet. That's correct. So I can click on Add Integration here, or Add up here in the right, upper right-hand corner. So click on Add Integration, use the Integration Type pull-down, and in my case, I'm gonna select Aweber. So it says here, please click here to authorize your Aweber account. So click here. And now you need to provide your Aweber login details and then click on allow. All right, so now GrooveFunnels API connected with your Aweber account. So now if I come up here and click on the three lines here, click on my integrations. So now when I come in here the second time to try to do it, it says, thank you, your Aweber account has been verified. Click on update and then Aweber shows up right here. So now GrooveFunnels 
has been connected through an API to my AWeber account. So I'll come up here, click on Exit. So now if I click on Groove Pages, click on New Site, click Blank Template, and I click on Blocks. Uh, let's go to Wireframes, scroll down to Forms. Here's an opt-in form. Click on that and drag that over here. So this is what I was talking about when I was in AWeber. By default, this is just asking for an email, and then it has a subscribe button. So now if I click on this area here where it says email and subscribe, come over here and click on configure. You'll want to change the input ID to say email, and then the input name is email, and then the input placeholder is capital email. Click on add validation rules, and you're just saying that they have to put in their email address in order for this to work. Let's say here the input cannot be empty. Click on update. All right, so we just configured this email input field. Now we want to configure the subscribe button. So if we click on subscribe, come over here to configuration. Your button text says is button text and the button action says submit. This is what's coming from AWeber. So what we need to do is make sure that this form input field here and whatever we put on the button here matches whatever we have in AWeber. So for instance, currently our button is labeled subscribe here, but it says here button action in AWeber is actually called submit. So if you do go over to AWeber, you'll see here it does say submit. So it doesn't matter what you want to call it, but your AWeber button name here should match this button text here. All right, so that concludes this video of setting up a AWeber campaign and integrating it with your GrooveFunnels opt-in form. I hope you found that useful and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.